alternate nostril breathing with your diaphragm. All right, so the diaphragm's a dome. As we inhale, that dome comes down. As we exhale, it comes back up. When you go too fast with your breath, your diaphragm can't keep up. So we're gonna slowly pull air in like we're breathing through a straw. And then just for about two or three counts, so not as deep as you would normally think. And then we're just gonna let the exhale leave our body with no effort at all. Again, for only two or three counts before it turns right back into an inhale. I want you to stay relaxed through this process. You're not pushing your belly out. You're letting the belly, the sides, the back, and the pelvic floor be compliant. So as the diaphragm moves down, all of these things move out because they're soft tissue that are getting moved by the change of pressure in your torso, all right? You're gonna do this laying down on your back. Most people, you're gonna need a pillow underneath your neck so that your neck isn't stuck in too much extension. There goes my hat. And then you're going to bring two fingers onto your temples and you're gonna inhale through a straw really nice and slow on the left. Let the exhale leave your body silently on the left. And then you'll switch and do the other side. Make sure that your ribs are down and that your exhale is all the way out of your lungs, which is you can exhale more than you think before you start. I'll show you two now. So my belly is moving out, but it's just because it's moving with the diaphragm. I'm not pushing it out. Okay. So enjoy truly breathing with your diaphragm.